Hello my dear students this is Pile ma'am here so in the previous video we have already discussed about the beaks of the birds and in this video we are going to discuss about the claws so let us move on with the chapter and i have also provided the question and answers and the solved exercises of the book kindly take the screenshots as you always do and please do subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon also to get the notifications of the videos that i upload the feet and the claws of birds are shaped to suit their perching and food habits we are going to study about perching very soon okay now what are claws claws are the long curved nails present on the feet claws can be used for climbing protecting holding food swimming and perching as you can see here these are the claws the curved ones okay at the end of the feet now birds of prey eagle vulture and hawk have strong and sharp claws these help them to firmly hold the prey while flying so as you know that these are the birds of prey or the scavenger birds so what they do is they feed on their prey and they fly very high so whenever they are flying they hold on to their prey with the help of these sharp claws
Now moving on with the perching birds. So sparrows, pigeons and crows have long and slender claws with three toes in the front and one at the back. Now perching means to rest on the branches. So you must have seen the birds. They are sitting on the wires or on the top of the branches. So they hold the branch or the place very firmly and that process is known as perching. So these birds like sparrows and pigeons they have got uh, three toes in the front and one at the back which helps them to curl it around the branch or the wire on which they are sitting and they can hold it firmly. So even if they sleep okay like when you are sleeping you don't have any consciousness right you can even fall down but their claws are holding the surface so strongly so, so that even when they are sleeping they don't fall off from that branch or from that wire. So the, this is called as perching. So these perching birds are the sparrows, pigeons and crows. Please remember the examples very well. So you can see here some of the birds, they are perching or they are holding or resting on the branches. So you can see here their claws are getting curled up. So that they are holding the branch very firmly or strongly so that they don't fall off. Okay, moving on with the next category which, is, which are the swimming birds. So ducks and penguins have got webbed feet that help them to swim. The front toes of these birds are joined by skin giving them a flat appearance. They use their feet to paddle and push the water while swimming. So they have got webbed feet like this. So you must have seen the ducks having webbed feet like this. This is known as webbed feet in which the skin is joined between the toes which makes the feet flat so that they paddle the water when they are swimming. Otherwise if they would have got the normal feet and claws they wouldn't be able to swim or paddle the water. Okay. Now next is what is wading? So cranes and jacana can walk in the mud without getting their body wet. Now this is called as wading. So this is like walking in the mud without getting their body wet. So that process is called wading and the wading birds are crane and jacana. So these birds have got long legs, wide spreading toes. These help them to walk in shallow water or mud. The widely spread out toes prevent their body from sinking in water. So they, so they don't sink in water since their uh, legs are long enough and they are widespread. So they don't sink in the water. So here's a video you can see here. These are the baby jacanas. Okay. And they are walking. As you can see here, they have got a long toe. And how carefully they are walking, okay? They are not getting drowned or not getting sink. They are not sinking in the water. They are walking. So here you can see they are walking on the leaves of the aquatic plants. So these are their feet. And now you will watch an interesting thing over here. A crocodile is watching them. Okay. And just have a look how their parent or the father is saving the young ones. So these baby jacanas are wading through the pond. And the dangerous crocodile is just keeping an eye on them. So since their toes are long, they don't get wet in the water.
So you can see here the crocodile is hiding underneath the water and is carefully watching those baby jacanas. And in the meanwhile, the father jacana, okay, or the parent, he just comes and rescues his children. So see here, he's hiding them. And slowly he's escaping with his young ones. And that's why the crocodile is receding back. He understood that the father is leaving with the baby jacanas. So you must have seen here the wading toes of the birds of the jacana. Now scratching birds. Some birds like hen have strong feet with three toes in front and one at the back just like the perching birds. But here each toe has a sharp claw to scratch the ground in search of seeds and insects present in the soil. So their purpose is to scratch the ground and remove the seeds and insects present in the soil. That's why they have got a sharp claw. So the alignment is same like that of the perching bird. So here you can see it is scratching the ground and taking out the insects or the seeds. So every time it is scratching the ground and taking it out. So that's why they have got strong claws. Now moving on with the climbing birds. So birds like the woodpecker and the parrot have two toes pointing upwards and two downwards. So here is the change of the alignment. So here you see two toes are pointing upwards and two downwards. These birds can clinch or they can hold on to the trees to catch the insects and to hold the fruits. So because of this alignment or arrangement of the toes upwards and downwards that they can hold on to something. Okay now moving on with the exercises given in your book. So something to know. So the first one is the fill in the blanks. So first birds do not have dash to eat food. So you already know that birds do not have teeth to eat food. Second sunbird dash nectar from flowers. So what it does is it sucks. Okay. So S-U-C-K-S. Next, a duck has a dash and broad beak. So a duck has a flat, F-L-A-T, flat and broad beak. Next, a penguin uses its webbed feet to swim. Okay, so what is the purpose of the webbed feet in the birds? It is meant for swimming. So penguin uses its webbed feet to swim. Next, Dash and Jakana are wading birds. So which are the wading birds? Crane and Jakana. C-R-A-N-E. So Crane and Jakana are the wading birds. Now moving on with the match the following. So if you cannot understand the handwriting above, that's why I'm dictating. Please match it with that. Okay. Now match the following. So the first, okay, now sunbird, as you know, it has got a probing beak. So sunbird is going to be matched with D probing beak. Now moving on with the next is eagle. So eagle has got piercing and tearing beak that is G. Now parrot. Parrot has got a curved beak. So E curved beak. Okay now duck is going to be matched with A sifting beak. Fifth, swallow. Swallow has got B, sticky beak. Sixth, woodpecker. Woodpecker has got chiseling beak. And seventh, pigeon. Pigeon has got F, crushing beak. Now moving on with the tick the correct option. So as you can see, I have already ticked on the book, uh, on the page itself. So the first one is a sparrow uses its short and hard beak for de-crushing of grains. Okay, moving on with the next, take the correct option. Second, 
a hoopoe takes out insects and worms from the holes in the ground with the help of its long and slender beak that is option b third a bird that does not have strong and sharp claws is the bee duck fourth birds that have two toes pointing upwards and two downwards are known as c climbing birds fifth it's a it is a perching bird so the option is a sparrow sparrow is a perching bird now moving on with the question and answers of your book so the first is answer the following questions in brief what do birds use for preening their feathers so you already know this birds use their beaks for preening their feathers so like you always do you need to take a screenshot of all these videos and copy it down in your copies second question is how is a crushing beak helpful to a pigeon so the answer is pigeons use their beaks for crushing seeds and grains and thereby making them soft before eating please do give ending lines after each question and answer and as i already mentioned earlier you need to give double ending lines after each section ends now third what are claws so the answer is claws are the long curved nails present on the feet next name three birds of prey so the answer is eagle vulture and hawk are the three birds of prey next what prevents the body of crane and jacana from sinking in water so the answer is birds like crane and jacana have long legs and wide spreading toes they widely spread out their toes which prevents their body from sinking in water okay now moving on with the next e answer the following questions so the first is write two main uses of a beak of a bird so there are various uses but since they have asked two so we are going to write birds use their beaks to crush their food and for preening their feathers next how are claws helpful to a bird so claws are helpful to a bird in holding the food and perching okay now how does a swallow catch its food answer a swallow has a small broad and sticky beak the beak is sticky from inside which helps the swallow to catch flies while flying moving on with the next question question number 4 how do webbed feet help a duck to swim so the answer is the webbed feet are the front toes of ducks which are joined by skin giving them a flat appearance these are used to paddle and push the water for swimming what type of feet do the scratching birds have so the answer is some birds like hen have strong feet with three toes in front and one at the back each toe has a sharp claw to scratch the ground in search of seeds and insects present in the soil so since they have asked us to describe the feet we have to write all this this completes our chapter If you still have any doubts in the question and answers or anything you need to understand which you haven't understood clearly then please do write to me in the comment section and as i've already told please do subscribe to the channel and press on the bell icon to get the notifications of the videos whenever i post them on the channel thank you